So hello guys and welcome. So we're going to take a look at SBMU again, but this time on my modern computer. So if you take a look here, this is my modern setup actually. It's a mini PC, it uses a Ryzen 4700. So it's quite fast. I had to actually down clock it down to like one gigahertz because otherwise I was going to get like timing issues. Sometimes the uh, memory extender, it would just freeze. Sometimes it would work. Sometimes SVMU would not uh, work at all. So yeah, uh, down clock in the CPU help with that, which you can fortunately do easily uh, in the BIOS. Or you can simply use like a slower Ryzen CPU. That's an option as well. Yeah, like the stuff like the Athlon CPUs, for example. So let me show you uh, first Wolfenstein 3D. It does detect the mouse, which is a USB mouse, not a PS2 mouse. And I could use like a PS2 keyboard, and that would fix the issue that I would have with DOS and some games, because it, it would just, when you press a key, it would just do it like way too fast. So. And this is real hardware. This is not like DOSBox or whatever. Uh, the only emulation is the SBMU stuff, which runs in the background as a TSR. But besides that, it's real hardware. And I can even play with the mouse. So yeah, that was Wolfenstein 3D. Uh, now what I did f for the like the keyboard issue, I just put all of the games in the auto exec. So we're going to play the games uh, one by one. So this one is Petsky Robots. We're going to play in VGA mode. So next one is Wrecking Crew. This one, uh, SVMU does not actually work, but I just wanted to show you that this game, it does work, but only if your uh, graphics card partially supports Visa mode, because even though this game supports like uh, mode uh, 13H, if it doesn't support Visa like here, well, uh, the game will just freeze or crash. Well, you better hope it will crash because most of the time it will freeze if it doesn't support like a Visa mode. So yeah, for this game, I have to set it to like VGA. Uh, but unfortunately, I believe the controls aren't working with, uh, properly with this one, mostly because of the keyboard uh, issue that I mentioned earlier. So basically, if I press the key, it will constantly uh, just do, do it over and over again. And this game has weird controls also. I believe it was like... Yeah, I, I, it, it, I mean, I. it's not actually like the cursor keys. You have to like press a specific button so I know how to... Oh, right, so... Yeah, and of course... I mean, <laughs> what a mess. And I, this is so strange, right? I've never seen a game do that. But yeah, as long as you set the game to VGA mode rather than SVGA, you can play this game. Now, if you have like an old graphics card, which you can do on a modern Ryzen, 
then you can play this game in also SVGA mode as well or even like an RTX I believe that should work as well but yeah that was Wrecking Crew um, game over but yeah maybe I should like patch the game for removing the the loading screen that uses visa mode that is so stupid why did they do that all right so next game is pinball uh, fantasies and this one uh, uses like real modes so mostly mode x several uh, mode x resolutions in fact and the intel one it couldn't even play this game at least when it goes in game this one it's mostly okay but uh, first of all there's the uh, color glitch but that happens even on like uh, some uh, VJ cards but then once you're in game it does display but then it goes way too fast I believe that's because the refresh rate when you are uh, using like a digital um, integrated graphics it doesn't set the refresh rate properly, so it goes way too fast. And yeah, it's not supposed to go this fast. So I guess I could use like a slow down TSL or something for this game. That could be an idea. So that was Pinball Fantasies. Uh, we're just going to exit. And next one, actually the last one is Quake. And Quake, uh, well, you can't play it with the mouse, but yeah, it's it's just like Wolfenstein. You don't have like a mouse look or whatever. There's look strafe, look spring. I'm I'm not sure if if Quake One had an option for like. No, I believe they only added that to the Windows release, not to the DOS version. But yeah, if you go like to the video options, we don't have much. Uh, we only have like variations of the VGA standard. So basically this one, which is the max, that's the mode X mode. And that's the, that's as far as we can get on this computer without like a discrete graphics card. But it does run uh, smoothly as you can see here. So, uh, they, yeah, they didn't bother with Visa on this computer. It, it doesn't work at all. But the VGA and, and, and stuff, they do work. I haven't tried... I, I've tried a CGA game that was Magiduck, and it did work on this computer. EGA, I believe, should work as well. But yeah, uh, SVGA, uh, you pretty much have to get a graphics card for that. And yeah, uh, let me show you the issue that I'm talking about. Uh, I'll push the key and... Oh, actually, it, it, it froze. <laughs> so yeah, uh, if you press like too many keys, it just freezes and you have to reboot. And I can fix that with the PS2 keyboard. But you know, even, even if I add like a PS2 keyboard to this setup, that wouldn't fix like the SVGA issue. Now, if I add a graphics card, even like the silicon uh, VGA graphics card that I could add, uh, that would allow me to play uh, some more SVGA games as well. Or I could like find another case for this PC, and I could use like my uh, older GeForce, and then I could just play the games on my integrated graphics, and then. Uh, use the discrete card for like DOS but I don't think I will do that for that to that computer it won't just stay the way it is but yeah if you want to play DOS games on a modern computer then you certainly can even despite the um, input issue on with USB keyboards so thank you for watching and bye